This is Trey with verticaljumpprime.com slash elite secrets and in this video you're going to find out how to handle a basketball better with these basketball tips. Alright, first off I want to let you know that handling a basketball is not hard. It's actually pretty easy but it becomes easy after that initial training that you put in doing ball handling drills, dribbling the basketball all the time, playing a lot of basketball. Once you do that you'll get to the point where drilling the basketball is easy, right? So, if you want to handle a basketball better, you have to answer this question. Can you handle the basketball against tough defense? If you ever struggle to dribble the basketball because of a defender, then that means you can't handle the basketball against tough defense. Once you master dribbling the basketball, you will never struggle to dribble the basketball ever again. When you have the basketball in your hands, it should scare the heck out of your defender. The reason being that you should have the ability to break their ankles into pieces, right? So, test yourself. Here's how you handle a basketball better. Test yourself, figure out what you struggle with, and then figure out how you can fix it. Let's say you struggle at dribbling with your left hand. You would then need to do some drills and exercises that address your inability to dribble efficiently with your left hand. For example, you could try dribbling the basketball 100 times with your left hand. Take a 30-second break and then do it again. Take another 30-second break, do it again. Keep practicing repetition. The fact of the matter is if you do something repetitively, over time it will become second nature or pretty close to it. So let's say you have a much bigger issue. Like, for example, you can't dribble the basketball while moving at high speeds. You could go about fixing this problem by finding out how fast you can move while dribbling without losing control of the basketball. You can go to the nearest local basketball court and start at one end of the court, so at one baseline, then sprint down the court as fast as you can while dribbling the basketball and try not to lose control. If you see that you're losing control, then you know where your limit, it, your limit is, how fast you can run while dribbling the basketball, so you know you need to practice that. Keep doing this until you feel comfortable dribbling the basketball while running at higher speeds. So repetition, just do whatever you having problems with, keep doing it until it becomes second nature. Fixing certain problems can take days, weeks, or even months, but it depends on your work ethic. If you're doing exercises and workouts that address the dribbling problems you may have, you will see improvement. Once you fix your ball handling issues, you will begin to handle the basketball better. Anytime you notice something about your dribbling that you want to improve on, you should now know what to do. Like I said before, just do drills and exercises that address the situation. Now, you need to start doing the right ball handling drills that will transform your handles. So, what you can do right now is click the link in the description or go to verticaljumpprime.com slash elite elite secrets to get your free report that will reveal the training secrets of the basketball elite um once you figure that out you will learn exactly what you need to do to really take your ball handling and not just your ball handling your basketball skills to the next level all right thanks for watching this video